Howdy doody everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Just wanted to go over <clears throat> um, continuing on my blog here and videos on basically I have figured a way how I can automate my uh, cryptocurrency trades on Binance. So there's two, or a previous video I just posted um, here on my YouTube channel at quantlabs at uh, youtube.com slash quantlabs and here you'll find a video I just posted how I deposited Bitcoin in a Binance with an ATM and cash okay now I do realize I, I paid a 10% a, a service fee charge using the service but if you want to get more info you just come to my blog a blog a posting is simple how I deposited cash into Bitcoin into Bit Binance with an ATM and cash and again that's at uh, my blog quantlabs.net slash blog and do a search for that title I just gave you all right so in there you'll find quite a few uh, set of details on how I did it plus the video I just showed you um, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I managed to uh, get from the wallet on my digital crypto wallet and transfer the, the Bitcoin into Binance, my, the exchange that I use. Okay, so I've shown that in that previous video and um, uh, posting on my blog. And before I forget, in there you'll find I've got a variety of different um, links there that will guide you through that. Okay, so. Hopefully that'll help you out. Okay, so moving on to the next step, I've got here a, um, a article on my blog again, and the title of this one, quantlabs.net slash blog, it's called Unknown Cryptocurrency Error Send Order to Binance Exchange with Python CCXT. And this was li literally a um, journey of, of the variety of uh, errors and exceptions that I got when I was setting up the code once I knew I had a, a API secret code that worked the combination that was long ass uh, combos of numbers and characters and stuff and then eventually I knew I got that working so I came across um, various errors um, now I'm going to show you where to go okay so if you go to this link here on GitHub, <clears throat> on there you'll find an example of how it's done. Okay, so here's what I used that generated all kinds of exceptions. So uh, as you can see, I just did post that on my blog there. Um, so what we have here is we import CCXT, the uh, cryptocurrency exchange package I've been using for Python. It works quite well. Um, in there, you have to specify your API, your secret key, and then this parameter called enab enable rate limit. You choose your symbol, uh, your type of order, in this case, a market or a limit. Are you uh, buying or selling the amount and the price that you want to buy at? And then also, if you want to, you can specify um, if you, this is a test order, okay? And then once you do all that, you just send out a, um, using the exchange, once it's instantiated, that object, and you use the create underscore uh, order by passing the symbol, the type, the side you're taking, the amount, the price, and, and that extra parameter, if it's a real trade or not. So when you do that, this is what happens. We get all kinds of exceptions. So in my case, I got um, a strange exception where nothing happened, nothing was returned. So I was like, why is that? Now, I don't know if that was a CCXT problem or what. I don't know. But after futzing around with it, I started getting these errors of signature for this request is not valid. Um, then I started getting minimal uh, qu quantity for the notional on, on the amount that I wanted to buy on, so on and so forth. <clears throat> and I knew the uh, API keys were working because when, uh, if you go back to that link, here, you put your API key, let's say, and then you add in another character just to verify if the keys are working or not. I got an accept saying it's not legit. When I, put, I restored it, it was legit, and I started getting all these different other exceptions. 
So that's how I knew the keys were working. But this one, I still don't know what caused it, okay? So <clears throat> there's all these different errors and exceptions. So futzing around further, there's some commentary uh, here uh, for my Telegram group, which is private, which they try to help me out with, which was very nice of them. They thought it was the size of the order. Maybe it was uh, the amount that I was asking for. We didn't know. And, and here's that minim minimal notional exception as well. And th this, these are the parameters I was passing it to. So no one knew what the problem was. So um, I made sure I downloaded the latest CC XT with PIP or PIP3 that I use and just experimented. I just couldn't get anywhere. I started getting this uh, error as well. Not all sent parameters were read, read eight, but was sent nine. So it's these sort of things that throw you off. Well, I was lucky enough to find a link that um, helped me out. Here it is. This is the solution for everybody. I finally got something working with this. This GitHub CCXT issues um, posting. And what it said was try this minimal uh, cell uh, cell order, which I did, and it's always five, well, really three lines. Um, so you set the parameters with the key and your secret, and the verbose is true, which you want full debugging, and you pass this along. So you have your uh, exchange object that's defined here, and then uh, you want to do create market cell order with the price as well as uh, the amount. I'm not sure which is which. This is the amount I believe it would be. Um, and uh, I was able to get it working. I was shocked. And then I was able to get this working on 0001. I never get 1,000th. I'm not very good at that. <laughs> Sorry. And then we could also do a buy, and that worked too. So that's pretty well what I had. I just uh, go down to here and uh, implement this code once you get your key in secret uh, api keys working and then it should work hopefully i'll help you out and i'll help some people out and i have also as i said verified in my um binance account in the trading log that uh two transactions did take place to the buy and the sell so it does work or at least in my case it did hopefully i'll help you out later